The final episode of Season 2 of Yellow Jackets has just been released, and it's safe to say that it was definitely an interesting season. I was a big fan of it, but I know there were quite a lot of people out there that didn't think it was necessarily up to the standard that it should have been at, and that it left a lot of questions and holes in the plot. With the showrunners stating that they're looking at making around five seasons of the show, I feel the space was there so the gaps could be filled in later on down the line. However, Season 3 is the next one that's on the cards, and with Season 2 concluding the way that it did, I thought I'd take a look at all that was out there along with giving my theories and predictions on what I think is going to happen next. So let's get into it. Here is Yellow Jacket Season 3, Everything We Know. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The Release Date In terms of the release date, we know that a third season of the show has definitely been commissioned by the network. This was confirmed just before Season 2 of the show was released. When we look at the gap that was there between the first season and the second season of the show, there was around just under a year and a half between releases. Season 1 came out in December 2021, and Season 2 was released in March 2023. So if we apply the same time frame between Season 2 and Season 3, we'll most likely get a new season of the show in around July 2024. This would ordinarily allow enough time for the writing, production, marketing, and release of the show. However, with the WGA strikes in place, this could delay the show for an unconfirmed amount of time. So until the issues get resolved, I imagine no pen will be put to paper on Season 3 of the show, so there's really no telling on what's going to be on the horizon. However, I would most likely predict that if we're taking an ordinary time frame, we can expect to see Season 3 of the show in around the summer of 2024, but it all depends on the writer's strike and what delays will come with that. The Story The story has and always will be split into two. There's the story that we see developing in the past and also the one in the present day. I'll start by giving my theories and predictions on the story from the past. The main thing that we saw happening during the finale was that Nat was elected the new leader, the cabin got burned down, and Coach Ben was the main suspect for the person who caused the damage. I think we're going to see the divide get even stronger in the next season, plus a lot more deaths. I think we're going to see the group adopt the wilderness and the darkness even more now that they're without their cabin. They may think that it was done by the wilderness because it wanted that to happen, or they may feel as though it was Coach Ben due to his absence. I think Nat will most likely reveal to the group that she knew that Coach Ben was hiding where Javi was, and that he asked her to join him. So they'll most likely look to find that place. This is where I believe that they'll probably find the matches and think that it was Ben that caused the damage. Obviously, we know that Ty has an alternative version of herself that likes to come out at night, so she could well be a suspect too, as she never remembers her actions. There's nothing ruling her out right now. It was positioned that Ben took the matches because he was struggling to make a fire in the cave that he was in, so it doesn't necessarily mean that he caused the damage. However, with the resentment and fear that he had, it most probably was him. I think we'll most likely see Ben seeing Ty visit where he's hiding during the time that he's there. There was a symbol on the tree outside of it, and with Javi saying that there was a friend that visited him, and with Ty being so deeply connected to that symbol, it could well have been her. So I think that's definitely on the cards. In the present day, we've heard the group say that they did a lot of dark things when they were in the wilderness. We have seen a lot of dark things happen, but I feel there's definitely more to come, and they've been alluding to that all throughout Season 2 especially when it comes to the ritualistic activities that they carry out. I genuinely don't know how they're going to survive without the cabin, but it's going to be interesting to see how they do. They'll most likely turn to the wilderness even more. One of the main questions that always comes up in the show is tied to the pilot of it, and the searching for the answer to the question of who's the pit girl. We've been led down a couple of different paths as to who the identity of the person could be. There was a time where everybody thought that it was Mari, but then during this season, there's been moments where it feels as though it could well be Callie or Lisa from the present day. With the group feeling the presence of the wilderness in the modern day, there's nothing to say that it couldn't take over their minds like it did all of those years ago and be a character from this timeline. During the ritual when Nat was killed, we saw the group transform and adopt the cult-like behavior that they had when they were behind the masks. So there's nothing to say that their present selves won't go back to how they used to be, especially if they start to believe in the wilderness again. Within the present day story arc, I think we'll see the group struggling to deal with Nat's death, especially Misty as she was the one who caused her best friend to perish. We saw just how psychotic Walter was and that he was equally as psychopathic as Misty, so I feel we'll spend a bit of time watching them together and seeing how their dynamic unfolds. 
There was the arc where Ty's alternative personality was coming back in the present day, so I'm hoping that will continue to be explored whilst also showing why it was important in the present day story, as it kind of got put on the back burner towards the end of the season. Van was acting off in the finale and wanted to partake in the ritual, which was slightly off when compared to how we previously saw the character, but with her being ill, it could be because she felt as though the presence and darkness that came with the wilderness was something different that may have been able to heal her, so it was almost like a last-ditch attempt to try something different, so maybe that mindset will be carried into the next season. I think the story of Lottie's compound is going to be over, as she'll most probably be declared unfit from a mental perspective to be able to continue to run it, so we could see her take an even darker turn than what we saw in this season. There was a moment where she was amazed at seeing Shauna's daughter for the first time, so who knows? Maybe she'll get obsessed with Callie and start putting a lot of importance on her, just like she did with Shauna's baby that didn't make it all of those years ago. As you can see, there are so many different directions that the show could go in during the next season, and even beyond that. But with the group feeling like they're even more stranded due to being without their cabin, which is their protection from the harsh wilderness and bitter winter, it's going to be a difficult time for them. It's definitely going to be exciting. The cast. With regards to the cast, with there being a couple of main character deaths that we had in this season, it's quite clear to see who will be returning. With the set of characters in the past, we know that Javi will not be returning, and in the present day, we know that Kevin the police detective and also Nat, the biggest death of them all, will not be returning. Plus, I imagine Jackie will also not be coming back too. With us not seeing flashbacks of her in the latter part of season 2, I can't see her coming back in the form of a hallucination. So that would mean that from the characters that have focused around the story in the past, we'll have Lottie, Shauna, Ty, Van, Misty, Nat, Travis, Mari, Akila, and Coach Ben. And then in the present day, we'll also have Lottie, Shauna, Van, Ty, Misty, Walter, Jeff, Callie, and maybe even Lisa. So most of the main cast will be returning, which is good to know, because they're what most definitely carries this show. Unfortunately, that's all that's known about Yellow Jacket Season 3. I'm sure more information will be released as we draw closer to the release date. So, there you have it. Yellow Jacket Season 3, everything we know. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen in Season 3? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.